Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The United States has been paying attention to the development of China's IC industry. In the past 10 years, China's IC industry has continued to improve and build, and more and more production forces have been invested. The chip design industry can already achieve the 5 nanometers level, and the required EDA tools and architecture technologies are stepping up breakthroughs. In the field of manufacturing, significant progress has also been made in ion implanters, etching machines, cleaning machines, etc. Not only that, the investment scale of China's semiconductor industry will continue to grow in 2022, and the National Integrated Circuit Standardization Technical Committee has also been established in China. From all aspects, some American media said that they underestimated the speed of China chip. Technology is the primary productive force, and chips are an important cornerstone of technological development. All walks of life are inseparable from chips. Major chip giants continue to deepen chip performance and develop the process to the level of 3 nanometers. In the future, it is possible to produce 2 nanometers, 1 nanometer, or even more advanced chips. However, due to the restrictions of the US regulations, mainland chip manufacturers can only mass produce 14 nanometers chips at present. In the absence of EUV lithography machines, they still need to focus on the development of mature process semiconductors. But don't underestimate the mature technology. 75% of the chip demand on the market is composed of mature technology, which is distributed in key technology fields such as smart cars, the Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence. If you can grasp 75% of the mature chip market, you can do a lot in the future. In the field of mature technology, Chinese manufacturers have made breakthroughs one after another. In terms of design, Huawei has conquered the 14 nanometers EDA industrial software, Lungsen Jonke has developed the Long Arch architecture, and Alibaba has vigorously deployed the RISCV architecture. With the current design capabilities of domestic manufacturers, they can already achieve the 5 nanometers level, which means that the chips include Ali's self-developed Yishan 710. In terms of manufacturing, ion implanters, etching machines, cleaning machines, etc., have also made significant progress. Among them, the etching machine was conquered by China Micro Semiconductor to the level of 5 nanometers and entered the TSMC production line. These are actual breakthroughs made by Chinese chips. So what are the market prospects in China's semiconductor industry? According to the statistical report of Sino Research, the investment in China's semiconductor industry will reach 1.5 trillion yuan in 2022, continuing its high investment attitude. The chip design industry has the highest investment scale, with an amount of 560 billion yuan, accounting for 37.3% of the total investment. The investment in the wafer manufacturing field exceeded 380 billion yuan, accounting for about 25.3%. The remaining materials, packaging and testing, equipment, and others account for different investment proportions. On the whole, the investment scale of China's semiconductor market continues to grow and remains at a high point. We must know that China is the world's largest chip consumer market, and many domestic and foreign manufacturers have invested in China. 
either build a wafer production line or bet on potential domestic semiconductor projects. The greater the investment, the greater the market potential, and the steady growth of breakthrough core technologies will contribute to China's semiconductor industry chain. The Chinese market has always remained open. In the face of huge interests, U.S. companies have disregarded the U.S. chip rules and have launched special versions of chips to reopen the door to the Chinese market. For example, NVIDIA's A100 high-end GPU chip is restricted, and NVIDIA launched the A800. As long as they can continue to do business in the Chinese market, American companies can't care less. In addition, China has established the National Integrated Circuit Standardization Technical Committee to enhance effective communication between the upstream, midstream and downstream of the industrial chain, and support enterprises to participate in the Global Industrial Division of Labor and the formulation of international standards. In this context, Domestic semiconductor companies can effectively participate in the construction of the industry. Huawei, SMIC, Alibaba, etc. are all important members, bringing key support to the development of domestic integrated circuits in their respective fields. Some American media said that they underestimated the speed of China chip. At present, China Chip is accelerating its progress in various fields and has made breakthroughs of all sizes. The more blocked the United States is, the easier it is to arouse the determination of self-research. All of this may be just the beginning, and I believe that more and more companies will delve deeper into the more advanced semiconductor field. On the other hand, Although the United States has provided 52 billion US dollars in subsidy funds for semiconductors, it may not be able to support the United States to achieve self-sufficiency in semiconductors. Because this money is not so easy to get, the company needs to pay a high price. Some companies are already planning to give up US subsidies, and would rather not invest in the U.S. than be subject to the U.S. If the United States does not look back and continues to implement chip export restrictions and drag other countries into the water, there will be no more results than leaving a piece of chicken feathers. Like Intel, NVIDIA has been in financial trouble, delivering poor results for several quarters in a row. American companies want to do business in China, but the United States imposes various obstacles. In the end, it will only be themselves who suffer. With the help of the actions of the United States, it will further promote the development speed of China's semiconductor industry. Looking forward to more good news from domestic semiconductor manufacturers and writing a magnificent chapter for the future of China chip. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.